Hi everyone, this is Jim and Crystal with Anaheim Park Tourist and this video is our overnight experience staying at the Element Anaheim Resort area. We booked a king bedroom bunk bed suite and this hotel is located at 1600 South Clementine Street in Anaheim. It is about 9 tenths of a mile or a 1.45 kilometer walk to Disneyland and it takes about 18 minutes to walk to Disneyland. And if you don't feel like walking, there is an art stop located right outside of the hotel. Parking is $22 a day plus tax and there is EV charging located on site. Up next is staff and service. Everyone we encountered this trip was very friendly and helpful. In fact, we actually ended up cutting our trip short by one day and they were really great to work with. With that, there was no issues whatsoever. We didn't get charged any extra fees for making that change and they very easily refunded us. So that was excellent. That brings us over to property conditions and um, normally our overnight experiences, we generally are fairly positive and I wanna preface this with, this will be a little negative. We really love the element but there are some issues at the element and it reflects in its TripAdvisor ranking. It's ranked number 89 out of 125 hotels in the Anaheim area. The element has been open since 2021 and it's had enough time to increase its ranking, but it's ranked very low. We like to go sift through all those reviews online and kind of get a just what's going on. And cleanliness is probably the number one negative reason for this hotel. And we've experienced this on this last trip and our previous trip. And just talk real briefly about our last trip. We booked a studio suite and we have two teenage boys. They don't like to share a bed if they don't have to. So one wanted to sleep in the uh, pull out couch. We pulled the couch out. Uh, the bedding was already on the bed and it was used by someone else. It had a bunch of hair in there in the, in the sheets and the bedding. And so we had to request new sheets. Uh, when those new sheets were dropped off, the person was uh, somewhat rude to us. No big deal. It happens. We know and understand people can have a bad day. We have seen a trend with the bedding and it tends to be dirty and left on that pullout bed. So that's issue number one. Issue number two was really minor in our room. If you saw the room tour, we had socks and a backpack left in one of the drawers. Now this stuff should not be missed, but we get life ha life does happen and you know we're all human and we do miss things but the really bad thing in our room i would say is that shower floor you can see crystal's reaction in the room tour of uh, it was pretty disgusting and you could probably see her reacting right yeah. now it's i've come across this at one other marriott property and that was the marriott convention center where the floor wasn't quite as bad as this room that we had but it was gross we ended up throwing a towel down and showering on top of the towel. So if you're staying at this hotel, bring flip-flops or sandals. Um, it's probably recommended anyways in any hotel shower. Up next is room comfort and noise. And straight away, we loved the layout of this room. The bunk beds are kind of separate from the main bed where we stayed. So we had a little bit of extra space between our kids and our kids loved having their own bed, their own space to kind of relax and chill, watch their phone whatever they needed to do away from us as well. So we could nap, watch TV, and we weren't really like in each other's space, which was fantastic. We always love a room like that. The beds here were very comfortable and so were the pillows. It was what you would expect from a Marriott property and no complaints there. This particular trip, our room was fairly quiet. Um, most hotels in the Disneyland area, you will get a lot of hallway noise in the early morning, after fireworks, and then again at park closing. So that's fairly typical in the Disneyland area. I think we heard a little bit of hallway noise on this trip, but our first trip, we did hear a lot of noise from the room above us. And we did see a lot of people mention that on the reviews for the hotel, that they heard a lot of noise from the rooms above them. So if that's something that bothers you, you might wanna request the top floor so you don't have that issue. Up next are amenities and the biggest amenity at the element is their included hot breakfast. And this hotel is one of our favorite hot breakfasts in the Anaheim area. And there's two reasons for that. We love that the food rotates and it's really important too for people who are staying longer, like 
a week or so and you don't want to have the same food over and over and over again so it's really nice that they rotate those foods and also the layout of their breakfast room is fantastic and that is because it's one large room and it kind it kind of mirrors each other so each side has exactly the same items so you don't get a lot of that build up of huge lines you don't get a lot of clusters of people and it's not as chaotic you can walk in very easily and get whatever it is that you would like and they have a huge range of options as well such as we've had breakfast burritos crepes bacon eggs potatoes all sorts of cereals chobani yogurt fruit breads oatmeal and granola other amenities include a pool and the pool is behind the breakfast room and it's kind of close to the freeway so the way the sun goes throughout the day it's probably in the shade a majority of the day except in the very early morning then they also have on-site barbecues which is kind of rare in the area they do have a small convenience store and we bought some items there and they're like frozen foods that you can warm up in the microwave in your room and also snack type items they have all the rooms have a kitchenette which is a huge plus especially if you're staying over a week you could save a lot of money on food by cooking in your own room they have a laundry area a fitness center and they are pet friendly reading on their website they do mention that they have a restaurant but then when i click the link it's the restaurant for the included hot breakfast so technically not really a restaurant that's a little bit misleading but if you do go next door to the Suncoast Hotel, they have a restaurant and a bar. So if you're looking to have dinner nearby, that would be the closest place would be at the Suncoast Hotel. Who would want to stay at this hotel? We think this hotel is a great option if, for example, you're coming from the UK, Australia, or another country where you tend to stay more than four, five, six, seven days. Uh, so this, this is a great option because it does have that kitchenette where you can cook your own food and save a little bit of money and you can have food delivered from Instacart, Walmart, or another grocery store. This room is also great if you have a large family. The, the rooms of uh, this particular room we slept in uh, slept six people, but it was also perfect for families that like a little extra space. You know, we have teenagers and they like their own area now and they don't like being crammed up into a two queen bedroom if they don't have to. So if you did miss this room tour of the hotel, go ahead and click the link here and over here will be the studio suite. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.